Hey guys, welcome to Digit and in this video we'll be unboxing yet another AMD Ryzen 2nd generation processor. This happens to be a Ryzen 5 processor by the looks of this particular badge at the bottom. And in particular, this is the AMD Ryzen 5 2600. Now this is a 6 core 12 thread processor based on the 12 nanometer uh, Zen Plus architecture that AMD announced in 2018. This thing has a base clock of 3.4 GHz and it can go all the way to 3.9 GHz. Now this is a non-G processor. You don't see a G at the bottom or rather at the end of the processor name, which means this has no integrated graphics. So you will have to use a separate graphics card if you're using this particular processor. Now let's flip this around and you'll find a small window through which you can actually figure out what processor you're getting. It's a nice way to make sure that you're getting what you're paying for. On the other side, you have mention of all the contents of this particular packaging, uh, which happens to be an AMD processor, installation instructions, limited warranty information, and a thermal solution designed for use in a desktop PC. And by that last thing, they mean the Wraith Spire cooler that each of these box comes with. Now let's take a closer look at the box cooler as well as the processor itself. Let's unbox the processor. You can see the processor comes in a small box of its own. In the extreme left hand side, there's the processor as well as the sticker. Now you can attach the sticker any way you want, be it on your cabinet, your chassis, your monitor, whatever. Sort of show it off as a badge of honor that you own a processor from the Ryzen family. Now AMD's processors use the PGA socket system which is basically pin grid array. On the bottom of the processor you can find lots of tiny golden pins. These insert themselves into your processor socket. Intel on the other hand uses something called LGA, LAN grid array, in which the processor only has gold pads for contact and all the pins are on the motherboard socket. Aside from the processor and the sticker, the little black box also comes with installation instructions for your processor. And this one goes into an AM4 socket, but in case you have any other processors or the other sockets, this should cover you as well. Now let's take a look at the thermal cooling solution that's mentioned. AMD has a lot of processors in the second generation range and all of them have different TDP values. That's the amount of power it has to dissipate in order to cool the processor. On the basis of that, you have different variations. Now, the 2600 happens to be a 65 watt TDP processor, which is why you see a considerably smaller fin stack, the aluminum fin stack at the bottom, but the fan remains the same. It's the same 90mm fan that all of the other coolers come with. And the base plate is aluminum in this case. Some of the other uh, coolers, main namely for the 95 watt processor, as well as the 105 watt TDP processor, you get copper at the bottom. The thermal paste comes pre-applied. And you have just one cable for this fan. It's a four pin fan connector that goes onto your motherboard and it should allow you to monitor the fan's uh, PWM as well. 